Hi, it's been a while since I recorded my last video on Russian gestures and this time I want to show you some of our traditional uh, sweets, confectionery and other stuff which uh, we enjoyed greatly prior the advance of uh, world corporations with their um, renowned brands like uh, Mars, Snickers and so on. So these will be primarily stuff which we used to eat in kindergartens in the Soviet Union and in um, in schools and uh, well, our parents enjoy them too. So I will start with the most uh, iconic one of them and this is this little bugger Tula gingerbread they enjoy a great history which dates for several uh, centuries back and uh, basically it's a, it's a kind of gingerbread made in a, in, in a town or a city of Tula which is located roughly 200 kilometers south of Moscow and um, it is also have it has two primarily fillings one is uh, various kind of jelly and the other one is um, boiled condensed milk and this very one uh, precisely has uh, that uh, condensed milk inside let's see how it looks Whoop. so here it's creamy and here it looks more like chocolate but yeah my best regards to South American guys with the dulce de leche so this is kind of our <laughs> привет to South Africa or South America uh, the next one is uh, suhari this one is uh, generously um, filled with uh, raisins and uh, and uh, sugar and this is basically a baked uh, baked uh, biscuit ooh so many crumbles okay this is how it looks then of course we have a lot of uh, just uh, cookies uh, which were extremely popular in Soviet Union this one this is one of the most iconic brands and it's still uh, on sale by the way, uh, the majority of stuff I'm well, all of it is on sale in Russian supermarkets. You just need to be extra vigilant <laughs> and alert uh, to spot them. So we also used to eat that kind of hard tech, as Wikipedia describes it. We called it galeta, galeti, in plural. Uh, and this is dr this is a dry, uh, and it's like. And um, it could be salted, and uh, sometimes it just doesn't have much taste at all. Um, then, and we have oatmeal cookies like this, made of course of oats, and they are sweet and uh, they are very good when they are extra fresh and soft. This one a bit, a bit old. <coughs> Uh, then again, this is traditional gingerbread. Not this shape, maybe is not that traditional, but uh, it is. It it actually smells of uh, mint, and um, well, inside. If I, let's see if I can show you what it has inside. It's just white inside. Okay, yeah. And it's sweet too, it's a gingerbread. We call it Prianik. So that, that one was Tulski Prianik and uh, and that one just just Prianik. Uh, another quite traditional stuff is Sushki. One is Sushka. This one is with um, poppies and uh, they could be plain, could be with poppies, could be salted and they go well with beer and um, they could be sweet and uh, they, they are very very old and 
this is a bigger variety of it see and it's called uh, baranka uh, or when there is a cross between these two we sometimes call them chilna chok a uh, little shuttle like in uh, wee wing and they they normally are sweet baranki and they these and those they are they're sold uh, in one bundle so it's like a you can put it around you i'm using way too much <laughs> sounds this time Okay, this is uh, about cookies, but uh, let's proceed to the next class of sweets. Okay, let's continue with marmalade. Let's continue with this one, so-called limonne dolki, which could be translated roughly as uh, lemon slices. This is a sort of marmalade which was extremely popular in Soviet Union and as far as I remember, they were of two tastes, uh, lemon taste and um, orange, apelsin in Russian. It is just uh, marmalade with uh, sugar on it and uh, it's just quite fresh and very, very sweet. They used to, to be sold in a typical uh, jar and so all kids were crazy about it. Uh, also, marmalade was sold in uh, in different other shapes and tastes. Those two are fused, apparently lemon and orange too. Well, norm normally their shape was uh, like romb. Jesus, what's his name in English? Romb, a geometrical figure. It could be uh, made. It's red. Apparently, it's strawberry. And some are green, and that probably means that they are made of apple. Uh, another class of sweets is called zephyr. Here it's box, and uh, it could be covered uh, with chocolate or it could be plain. So it looks like this here the box and the little zephyr chiki inside and uh, this is how zephyr looks inside when cut it's very soft and uh, as far as Wikipedia says it, it came to Russia from France uh, and this is the variety which which doesn't have um, which doesn't have um, chocolate co covering coating and this one is uh, with a taste of wild cranberries and it has a little um, a pinky color. The derivative of this one is uh, so-called pastilla, these bars, oops, which we were served in uh, kindergarten. They come normally in that kind of packs, not necessarily in, in such boxes, and this is a vanilla taste and uh, as traditionally inside it's just white Ooh. 